Hello and welcome to the first ever training webinar for the 2015 Safer Internet Day. My name is Tanner Connell and I'm the media director of DISC Foundation. Today it is my honor to welcome Mr. Mohammed Mustafa, the founder and CEO of DISC Foundation, who is here with us today. Thank you, Tana, and a warm welcome from myself and DISC Foundation to all who have joined us for this webinar from across India. DISC stands for Developing Internet Safe Community. We are a registered NGO in India and the official European Union authorized body for commemoration of Safer Internet Day in India and have been successfully conducting this observance in this region for few years now. Thank you, Mustafa. We're very excited to have you all online. This webinar is expected to last about 20 minutes. And by the end of this webinar, you would have information on the online risks facing children and youth in India and some recent studies in India on these issues. What is Safer Internet Day and why is it observed? Training on how to effectively commemorate this 10th February in your location, whether you are a school, club, organization or an individual. And training on how to successfully promote this event among your children and youth, as well as access to a host of free SID resources, including promotional videos, ready PowerPoint presentations, promotional graphics for social media, print-ready artworks for handouts, banners, roll-ups, and other promotional merchandise. Kindly note, this webinar is not meant for children, but is meant to be a training for persons who would present to the children. We have some great stuff coming up, so stay tuned till the end. Um, and thanks again for joining us. Let us start by asking Mustafa, what is Safer Internet Day? Uh, Safer Internet Day was initiated by European Commission and in time embraced by the whole world. It is observed on the second day of, second week of, second month of every year to promote safer and more responsible use of online technology and mobile phones, especially among children and young people across the world. This year, Safer Internet Day will be celebrated across the globe on Tuesday, 10th February 2015 with the slogan, Let us create a better internet together. India will join the world on the 10th Feb February to commemorate this day. DISC Foundation, along with our official promoter, Rakshit Tandon, will coordinate the observance across the nation. Now you might ask, why do we need such a commemoration? Well, take a look at the screen. We have some statistics up here. Today, children can access the internet using a laptop or a PC, a smartphone, a tab, or even some gaming devices. But according to a 2012 study, unfortunately, only 10% of parents use parental control on computers and a much less number on other devices. This makes young people vulnerable to a wide range of risks online. Here's a study by Kaspersky on inappropriate content accessed by children. For example, at an average age of only 11 years, children today have their first mostly accidental exposure to hardcore pornography on the internet. You know, so most stats, these percentages are based on children accessing against the whole traffic to these category websites. Here are some more risks children and youth are exposed to as they interact with the online world from cyberbullying, social media addiction, blackmailing, etc. to extreme cases sometimes leading to dangerous offline contacts with strangers and even child abuse. If you look at the situation in India, we are the fastest growing online population in the world at a whopping 14% in the year 2014 alone which means India is emerging to be one of the countries with the highest online penetration and the second most number of internet users in the world. 
So, by the end of next year, it is estimated that we would outgrow the United States of America with a colossal 284 million Indians in the online world. So, how does this affect young people in India? Unfortunately, along with the powerful infotainment content children and teens enjoy online, comes a wider exposure to the darker side of internet. Here are some stats from a 2014 report by McAfee. 92% of 10 to 18 year olds surveyed in India felt that they have posted risky stuff online, which includes their email addresses or their mobile numbers or their home postal address. 66% of teens felt they were accepted more on social media than in person. Now, this leads to psychological problems. Nearly half of the young people were naive in believing that they could delete what they post online at a later time. Most again don't turn off the GPS location which leaves them vulnerable for criminals who would like to stalk their activities. There's also a huge gap in India between children and parents when it comes to online access and consumption of technology. These are some parental concerns raised in the report. Most parents say that they cannot cope up with the pace of technology being snapped up and consumed by the young generation. Most youth also felt that they would not indulge in risky online behavior if they knew their parents were monitoring. So it is evident in India there's a huge lack of awareness of the risks children face online. And there's an urgent need to educate children, teens, parents and educators on how to make the internet a safe and positive experience for everyone. This cannot be achieved unless there's a national awareness on the issue. This is where Safer Internet Day 2015 comes in. Internationally, Safer Internet Day has become a landmark event in the online safety calendar with hundreds of events organized around the day to raise awareness of online safety issues right across the globe. The unique advantage SID offers is that without any major financial burden, we have a golden opportunity to raise awareness about this key issue nationally across India. This is a key point we can use to convince schools and other institutions, as well as influential individuals, to observe Safer Internet Day. So who should register for Safer Internet Day? The protection of children is everyone's responsibility, whether you are a school, a club, a parents' organization, a social worker, or a concerned citizen. So even though our focus is towards students and teens, anyone who work with them and care for them or would like to show their support can register. So how can we celebrate the 2015 Safer Internet Day effectively? Let us start by asking ourselves, what do we hope to achieve by this observance first? Well, there are four things. First, to raise awareness of the issue of cyber threats to ch children as well as teens online. Get young people educated on basic netiquette. Third, to feel empowered by being part of this international event. Fourth, harness the creativity of young people to, ex to express their hope for a good and positive use of internet and online technology. We have planned the 2015 Safer Internet Day as a national observance with dozens of activities planned across many schools, clubs, organizations, and more being planned locally as we speak. A signature Safer Internet Day event is planned in New Delhi on 10th February 2015. 
where the SID Organization Committee and various United Nations bodies and NGOs are expected to come together to commemorate the day in the National Safer Internet Day Conference. Speakers would include child online protection and internet safety experts, student leaders and delegates from various schools in Delhi and other states as well. Hundreds of schools, organizations and individuals across the country have already registered expressing their desire to, part of, to be part of this Awareness Day. We urge you all to spread the word to those who haven't registered yet. There are various cool online tools we have ready which you can use to do this. We shall outline these in detail in the next part of the webinar. Re to be able to register, all you have to do is log on to www.saferinternetday.in and click on the register button for schools, organizations or individuals. If you are a school, club or an organization, we have a show ready Safer Internet Day PowerPoint presentation, which you can download and use. There are also various interactive activities and presentation you could organize at these venues on the day. You could brainstorm with children or teens on what they would like to have. Here are a few suggestions to get you started. It could be a short film contest, let's say a three minute long uh, film shot by students on a smartphone. The winning entry can perhaps be screened in front of the whole school on Safer Internet Day. Or a drama or a photography or essay contest on the positive use of internet. A live digital painting competition could be another possibility. Or it could be an offline contest like cartoon drawing. Now if you are a parents organization or a group or an NGO who works with children, you can hold a seminar in your locality, targeted adults, where a knowledgeable cyber safety expert can be invited to speak. You can also hold discussions in smaller groups and a question answer session with a cyber expert. If you'd like to show your support for Safe Internet Day on an individual basis and raise awareness among your friends, even that is possible by using some smart social media tools we have created which we shall introduce to you in a minute. Hello again and you're watching the first ever training webinar on how to commemorate Safer Internet Day. As promised, we are now opening the goodies bag. Whether you're a school or a parents group or a club or an individual, we've ready resources and tools which can be tailored for each of these groups. The first resource we would like to introduce to you is the Safer Internet Day PowerPoint presentation for schools, which would be available to download from the SID India website from mid-January 2015. In order to access this, you need to log on to our website www.saferinternetday.in and then click on the resources tab on the top menu bar. Safer Internet Day Schools presentation comes with detailed presentation notes and can also be easily adapted to your situation and even presented in the local language if you please. We shall take you through this presentation in detail and how to present effectively in your school in our next webinar. Next, we'll give you a brief overview of the promotional graphic resources which will be available to download from the SID website by the last week of January 2015. Again, you will need to go to the same resources page of our website. And on this page, you'll have access to downloadable, print-ready, high-resolution artworks from Safe Internet Day handouts, SID roll-ups, and banners in various sizes, artworks for Safe Internet Day promotional merchandise like caps and t-shirts. Now let's look at some exciting social media tools we have created for you to easily promote Safe Internet Day in your online world, have fun and make some noise among your friends about this day. We have a cool 
SID badge which you can automatically add to your Facebook and Twitter profile pages to show your support for Safer Internet Day. You can do this in just a few clicks via the Twibbon app. We'll tell you how in a moment. You can also use one of our cool SID graphics as your cover picture to show your support. Now for both these, you will need to like the Safer Internet Day page on Facebook dot com slash safe internet day india we have the tribune app link posted on the facebook page we'll also be posting cool cover pictures and safe internet day graphics which is ready for you to use on your timeline we have also created a hashtag safe internet day india which works on both twitter and facebook so whenever you post anything related to safe internet day Make sure to add this hashtag so we can see you and your post can get more viewership. So thank you for joining us today on this webinar and we hope you have had a good experience and gained good knowledge of how to effectively commemorate Safer Internet Day. If you have any queries you might need assistance with of any on any topics we've discussed, remember we just a click away. You can also contact us via our website or you can email us at helpdesk at saferinternetday.in. You can also message us via our Facebook page. And be sure when you post your SID event pictures, please also post it on our Facebook page and add a hashtag so we can see you and publish it. And don't forget to catch us next, next week on our second webinar where we would like to take you through in detail on how to effectively present the Safer Internet Day to school students. If you have registered on the Safer Internet Day website, you would be notified on email when the webinar goes live. We should also post the update on the Safer Internet Day India Facebook page. So until then, this is Tana from DISC signing off and remember to serve safely. Bye.